We're taking a live look at Little Cottonwood Canyon. Still a little bit of snow coming down in the valley today. Skiers and snowboarders obviously pumped for the weekend ahead. Eastern Utah also seeing some snow this weekend. This is a live look at Vernal. A lot of that snow has melted, but we're told traffic is still slowing down just a little bit, which is exactly what we should be doing when we have icy conditions. Speaking of icy conditions, let's check in with meteorologist Garrett James, who joins us live from Southern Utah with a look at the forecast. And Garrett, I hear we have a little more wet weather ahead. Oh, just a little bit more. However, after tonight, things really going to be trying to dry out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar. Currently, we're looking at still a little bit, little bit of wintry weather, especially between Vernal and Moab and along I-70. But not to forget I-80. I-80 seeing a little bit of wintry precip as well, seeing now what was just blue, but temperatures have risen maybe just a little bit. Now we're starting to see a little bit of pink and a little bit of mixing taking place right around the Salt Lake City area. So if you do have any travel plans, make sure that you're taking it slower on the roadways as we can see those conditions slicken up very quickly. But in central and eastern Utah, that's where we're seeing the driest conditions. But this low pressure system that's really right on the state line that is going to be moving further to the east and as it does so taking that precip with it then in southern utah while we're mainly seeing dry conditions the radar is trying to show maybe a few flurries being possible around the radar site east of cedar city future cast shows that this is going to continue working its way further and further to the east as it does so it's going to take that moisture with it once we get past midnight that's when we're going to th see things really start to calm down but we'll still see a little bit of wraparound moisture coming in into the Beehive State by tomorrow morning. I anticipate by lunchtime will really dry out officially and that will be officially for the next several days as high pressure starts to build in for the Beehive State. But that's going to lead to a couple of things and I'll describe that in the seven day forecast here in just a second. But we can see that high pressure continues to dominate the forecast through the weekend. So best precip chances going to be overnight tonight into the very early hours of tomorrow. First snowfalls, a lot of places saw their first snowfall yesterday in the valleys, such as Salt Lake City and Logan, as well as Provo, seeing their first snowfall of the season yesterday. Snow totals, Draper seeing over half an inch, same goes for Sandy, just under half an inch for Salt Lake City, Cedar City, right at a quarter of an inch. Then we go ahead and take a look at the upper level future cast. It shows that low pressure moves out of the area. High pressure builds in quickly by Monday, and that is going to lead to the inversion that we see this time of year, and that's going to lead to some hazy conditions for a couple of days. That is until we see our next low pressure system move into the area towards the end of the week, and that's going to bring in not only cooler temperatures, but some wetter weather once again. Temperatures now in the 20s and 30s primarily, but lows tonight seeing a lot of 20s and teens out there. Tomorrow's highs seeing a lot of 30s, couple 40s mixed in. St. George leading the way at 50. For the Wasatch Front, 36 for the high. Slight chance of precip tomorrow. Hazy conditions Monday through Wednesday with temperatures in the low 40s. St. George's temperatures sticking with the 50s all week.